do you see patients who, uh, do you see a, a number of patients uh, who seem to get better after their litigation is resolved? Uh, I, I don't know how to answer that because most of the time I'll do a deposition like this and then uh, I never hear back as to whether they recover anything or not. And the attorneys don't send me a note saying you, did a, you, you helped your client or you hurt your client or anything of that nature. And so I, I don't have any way to, uh, to answer that. Because what I'm understanding is that many times when you do a deposition um, and there's litigation pending, then you don't see the patient again after that. In a number of cases, I'll continue to follow that patient, and uh, um, but that's not part of the discussion that I'm involved with from a history point of view or from an exam point of view. Um, and you did, you don't do any formal tests to in this case, you didn't do any formal testing, uh, neuropsychology or anything like that to delve into Mr. Crawford's uh, mental state. No. You, you're concerned with his neurological, physical issues. The the neuropsychological testing that I would have done for him would have been a, as a result of his head injury. His MRI scan of his brain was normal, and he, uh, by his history, recovered well any aspect of a brain injury. And so there wasn't any reason for me to test him. Um, uh, anatomically or from a neuropsychological point of view from that. Because his uh, because head injury completely his, resolved? Yes, yes. Thank you. I have to follow up with that, Doctor. If you thought that Mr. Crawford was going through this process of seeing you taking medication uh, for simply for secondary gain, would you have continued to see him? Uh, no. Uh, thank you, that's all I have. Nothing further. This concludes the videotape deposition of Dr. Everett Powell. We are going off the record. The time is approximately 9.17. Alright. Uh, Mr. Freeman, is there any further proof from the plaintiff? No, that concludes my proof, Your Honor. Plaintiff rests. Uh, uh, after I, if I can, have those two documents that were made to Dr. Howe's deposition Certainly. entered, I believe you have that doc, that deposition somewhere up there. Uh, I think I gave it to you yesterday <coughs> with the blank yellow tab. Yes, sir. And the exhibits you wish to introduce from that, all Thank the you. exhibits, or? I, I haven't seen it since yesterday, so I, I think there are just two, but I'm not positive. Yeah, but notes and a um, exhibit which appears to consist of three pages. Is that correct? My understanding, I, if, if I may approach, I can... Yeah, well, you come up. Could I approach also? Yes. Yeah. We have some other documents that were in this folder that highlighted though, and I don't know if that was... This is what was on the back of this exhibit. Okay, I think that's, those are mine that, uh, those are the ones, you know. No objection. No objection. Okay. Mr. Freeman, let me give you back that deposition. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you, sir. All right, that'll be received as the next numbered exhibit, which should be 28.
with that plenty of rest? I do, Your Honor. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, why don't we take a break at this time? Uh, let's start back about 11 o'clock, please. Leave your notebooks in your chairs. We'll start back. Chairsperson, <laughs> stand for jury, please. First, I, I move for directed verdict on behalf of Kelsey Mitchell. There has been no proof whatsoever from the plaintiff about to support any theory of liability against her. Um, so, make that motion. I have no response to that, Your Honor. Once they admitted liability, yeah. not that I'm necessary to pursue that. You have no response to that? I don't, Jim. That'd be great. And then lastly, Your Honor, I would like uh, the opportunity during the break, I just want to let counsel and the court know that I'm, I need to talk to my clients about moving for a mistrial based on Mr. Crawford's statement about the carrier. Um, I don't know if we'll make that motion, but I intend to decide that after I consult with them. Okay. At, at a minimum, I think it would... It and some of the other things that have been said in this case would warrant uh, the pattern instruction on insurance. And I just need to... Why don't you consult with uh, your client and uh, any other interested individuals and uh, let me know something before we bring the jury back in to start the defense proof, all right? All right. I'll treat that as a alerting the court the potential for that. Right. All right. Anything else? No, Your Honor. Start back at 11 o'clock. All right. All right.